Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Semi campaign. We pick it up for episode 22 from turn 121 in the summer season of 315. So last episode, uh, we're back at war thanks to our uh, vassal getting attacked. If we take a look at diplomatic status, we see we're at war with uh, Sima Yong, Sima Lun, Sima Yo, and also Dong Lai Wang. Uh, so we are actually uh, making advances in multiple fronts. Uh, one front is actually from the sea. We have uh, Sima Jian here trying to make a sneak attack on this one territory down south that belongs to our enemy. And we're going to land right here. Uh, this turn we're going to get on land and we're going to try to get back on the road. We have... Um, Military access with the Jin Empire, so we can definitely continue this. Um, this is still quite a long way. Uh, we'll, we're going to be on March to get close and attack the next turn, uh, two turns away from now, basically. Um, let's take care of all of this first. We have a few level up and probably a few unsatisfied characters as well. Where is she? Oh, she was part of this army that just have fought. Okay. Oh, she's still very far away from getting resourcefulness. Well, let's start with this one. We're one level away from getting resourcefulness, so her tributaries are still not quite as good. Let's see the other four. Alright. Oh my god. So this is Sima Ying's wife. Look at her. She's one away from being general-in-chief. And that's not going to keep her happy because she has this huge grudge on us because we took over her faction. But we're going to give it to her. Yeah, we're just going to yeah, we're going to treat her nicely. She's general in chief, she's 35. She's going to lose the 17 recently promoted. She's going to drop back down to 18. So this is giving her plus 6. This is plus 8, but there's no point to give her that one. Um, we can't really keep her happy. What can we do? There's no more promotion left to do. We can just give her something to do. Her lack of purpose is killing her. She's not going to desire any more higher court position because there's no more court position to give her. So we should just have her on Simon all time. That's what we should do. Got to remember that. All right. Let's see. This is a level up and also desire for higher position. She actually likes us. She is sad about a bunch of things. We uh, we captured her from Sima Yung. Hmm, she's not a general. She's quite old. I don't think she'll see any action for our faction. Yeah, even though... I mean, it's nice that she's level 5 now, we can pick this up, but she's never going to be recruited. We're never going to use her on the field. She's basically on assignment right now, and we have other people who could do that assignment. So... I'm actually just going to let her stay unhappy. Be because she's not suffering from lack of purpose. It actually improved because she is... Yeah, she's doing something right now. And once she's done with that something, we'll just kick her out. So we will take this. Actually, since we're going to kick her out, let's give her a terrible one. And let's see. We'll give her the better armor. She's going to stay with us. Uh, this is our daughter, I think. Oh, yeah. this is. I think this is our daughter. Okay, she'll stay unhappy. That is fine. Another level up here resource on this yeah these younger um, strategies are probably going to be used before she will be used so that's why we don't need her all right we picked up onyx dragons we can start recruiting these as well they can replace all the crossbow unit and the tin uh tin archers if the price makes sense uh we would like another army honestly starting to rank would be really good but i think we can shift our attention now a little bit because I see we can get another army here that's quite far and we should just finish up these uh, last two uh, civic trees especially this one 
for another administrator, another assignment. All right, only five turns, not bad. Um, we need 65 more points here. We need 12 more points here. That will take forever, basically. Um, Changsha is pretty well built. I don't think we need to build anything else. The only thing I can think about is the free school building. But we don't need the Reformation or the Noble Support, so there's no point. Alright, this we can build a school first to... No, we can just go straight for the marketplace, I feel like. Yeah, let's just go straight for the marketplace. That rain sound is really loud. Zoomed in. Alright, we're waiting for the reforms here. This is fully built. Waiting for reforms here. Yeah, this is fully built. Fully built. Perfect. Just gotta get the assignments down. Tang Wu. Our son is doing it. But we should get uh, Sima Ying's wife to do the same thing. Maybe in Nanhai. Nanhai is also a peasantry commandery. Yet. Yeah. Uh, 465 is not that high. Why is, um, Mao Tong was really pure? Hmm. Ejo, let's see. This has higher peasantry. Let's give, yep, Samayan's wife something to do. She's also happy here, so that's good. Hopu. Hopu could use more commerce. Yep, 575, that's really high. Who is happy and low level? There we go. You can spend some of our reformation point to do that. Alright, boosting our incomes. Time to move our armies. Alright, before we leave Jiangyang, since we are not in a rush to do much, we're gonna fix up this army here. Even though they're level 10, they're great, but um, if we compare them, uh, we can't recruit because we're on March. Uh, I messed that up. I messed that up. I can't recruit next turn then. Yeah, we can't swap units. But the intention is we should probably switch this army around to maybe um, five uh, Onyx Dragons. This army can recruit. Yep. If we take a look at the Onyx Dragon, you see they have 250 range. They have 54 ammo on her, on this on this particular strategist. Um, 48 regular damage, 18 armor piercing damage, uh, 17 is their firing rate. If we compare that with a crossbow unit, they have so much more firing rate, right? 7 here, 17 on the Onyx Dragon, same range. Higher base damage, but lower uh, armor piercing damage kind of flipped. Uh, total damage is higher on the Onyx Dragons, but if they have enemy have better armor, they're going to do a slightly less damage. But the firing rate makes up for that, and the ammo definitely makes up for that. So we're going to definitely go with these. So we're going to recruit two of these, and then we're going to swap these so they replenish a little bit faster. There we go. Yeah, we want our archers to all look like this, to all go for Onyx Dragons. Alright, that army is professionalized. I really... Yeah, this army is pretty much perfect um heavy spear guards though do we really need these guys i guess so we need someone to absorb um archer damage and we can't recruit these ourselves because we have the art uh, the jin infantry that army is waiting for replenishment this army is done this army needs to upgrade their archers as well we should go to normal stance so we can recruit. Not gonna make that mistake again. Swap these to Onyx Dragons. Now the cost is the only thing you have to think about, right? These guys cost 90 gold per turn. These guys cost 240, but that's why we have such a good economy to not have to worry about these things. All right, that army's ready. This army can't do anything. They were not in friendly territory. 
Alright, we'll come back to that real quick. This guy first. Let's go to regular. Alright, this army needs a little bit of professionalization. I'm gonna swap these out with Onyx Dragons. And then we're gonna swap two of these guys out with um, Azor Dragons for flanks. Alright, and they will rest up a bit. Probably just one turn because we swapped. Yep, and then we can attack Dengling next turn. Um, now I can go back to these guys. So if we open the siege tab, we still they, they still have generals. Um, I don't think we need to fight this though. I think we can just delegate this fight. Yep. Lost just 49 guys. Not a big deal. We captured Maurin. He hates us. We wiped out his faction. There's no way we are... Well, we can't employ him. If we kill him, we get the armor. Yeah, let's kill him. Alright, we capture the city. So now we can recruit here. What we're going to do is we're going to swap these guys. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wrong button. All right, we're still running at a 50k per turn economy. Um, yeah, let's keep this part the same. They're gonna take a while to replenish the enemies. There's a unit here, and there's two here, but they're heading in different ways, so we don't know what's going on there. Everything else is taken care of. Uh, we got a military structure. We got armor. Not really useful. I guess the military structure we could use right away. I'm sure there are generals without stuff. Yep. Do we not even have any weapon for you to use? Well, that's just really sad. We need more weapons. Alright. Um, I think that covers it. Let's go to the next turn. Alright, Sima Yue declare war on Dong Lai Wang. Uh, we are also at war with them. Interesting. I thought they were in the same alliance. Oh, never mind. Oh, Sima Yue is not. It's the Sima Yong, Sima Lun alliance. Sima Yue is a separate one. Okay, so they're fighting both us and them. Good luck. Alright, so Sima Yue is now the enemy of our enemy. That's interesting. Um, who do we want a better relationship with? I think Sandi. Sandi is in our faction council, I believe. So let's promote recklessness. Alright, we got a water clock. A bunch of new characters appeared. Our spy got promoted to, to uh, government. Alrighty, and uh, we have a few level ups here as well. Let's see. Yeah, our game crashed um, at the end of the last turn, but not a big issue. Legendary auto saves for you. Uh, let's see, what do we want here? We have all the leadership um, traits unlocked already for our son. So it's time to give him some potential battle skills, I guess. Some melee attack rate for himself is pretty good. And yeah, we have another level up. Uh, we're going to work our way towards resourcefulness. Alright, this turn we can finally... Replace these units, swap them to Onyx Dragons. Alright, beautiful. And we can actually move on our way, because we don't need to stay here and replenish. We have plenty of time in the river. Uh, we just, we'll just go slow and not be on march. Yep, that sounds pretty good. This army right here is on defensive duty, so they'll just stay put. Ah, uh, Sima Ying's army. What should we do with them? Enemies coming this way. Wow, if you look at the Jin Empire, they're making inroads here. They're taking Sima Ying's land. Uh, we better hurry. If 
before they take all of them. All right, let's start out east. Uh, let's go to regular stance. It's probably two turns either way. Yep. This way we're... Ma, there's no defense. We're worried about being there being an army, but I guess that doesn't really matter. We'll grab this next turn. Uh, Mal Drunk. He's just done his job here. They're waiting for replenishment, especially on this cavalry. Um, there's an enemy that's approaching us. But they're not going to get here in time. And they're running out of supplies. So we, they're just going to suffer through attrition soon too. No, uh, they're not out of supplies. They're just not being able to replenish because they're not in their own territory. Correction there. They can launch the attack on Jiangling, I believe. This turn. We want to get into the river. Because if you click on it just like this, right click. It'll, it'll auto you on this crossing and then go this way. It'll take forever. What you want to do is actually just get in the river. And attack it like that. You get there in one turn. And uh, there's really no need to... Oh, actually, medium loss is pretty heavy. We'll fight this on the field. Uh, we'll cut it out. Even though we're going to showcase these Onyx Dragons, but we'll showcase them in a better fight than this. Let's just jump in here. Alrighty, very clean fight with the uh, Onyx Dragons. Like, really, really easy fight with these guys. Alright, Occupy. Alright, let's take a second. We have a level up here. Strategist leveled up. Ooh, they don't even have range damage. Yeah, they definitely didn't have the resource on this. We're gonna pick this up. Alright, let's see. Do we have any enemies nearby? No, that's our uh, vassal sending an army to help. And that's the only territory that Sima Yun still has down south. Oh, it's so sad. Our enemy's dying off faster than we can go. Um... Maybe, just maybe, Sima Ai's army should actually go up north and help Sima Wei out. He did successfully take over this uh, copper mine here. And his army is now pushing north to fight Sima Lun. I feel like he can beat them back pretty easily. So I'm going to just let him take over the north for us. We might consider to come in here and take over, I think this is Luoyang's trade port. Um, it's quite a track though. To get from the river to that place. I think we might have better luck to just pick a fight with someone else over here. So Smai maybe should just rejoin the group. Um, ooh, oh, there we go. Click it. Uh, there we go. Who is in government now? One of them got... One of them got promoted. Oh. Is this girl right here? It's just not showing. Okay. She doesn't have enough points to do stuff, I guess. That's good. Let's take a look at the buildings. Um, waiting for reforms for some of these buildings. Let's upgrade that. No rush. Because it feels like we're kind of done with the buildings already. Uh, we don't even have an inn here. That's a crying shame. Uh, we'll just let that build slowly. All right, reform waiting. All right, more food. This is Jiangling, we just picked this up. Mm, they build it quite well. We're gonna take over this livestock farm too. All right, that's everything in terms of commandery building. Um, has all our armies moved? Nope, that's defense. Alright, we need to find a target for Sima Ai. Uh, we don't have one. Now do we? We can go north. That's the problem right now. We don't have enemies. Right? Sima Yun declared war on one of our vassals. We entered a war with them. But look at them. They're all up here. We can't. That's diplomatic status. We can't reach there. We can't just go across this area. Sima Wei is our vassal. Sima Yue hates us, but it's trending towards positive because we're now fighting uh, the faction that he's fighting. 
The Jin Empire loves us. Sima Liang loves us. They hate us, but it's trending positive. That's our vassal. Good. Seems like our enemy's all up here. Oh, Sima Chang. We don't have a deal with him. Hmm, target acquired. All right, and then we can actually go to war with Sima Jiong as well, because he's part of that alliance. But we have a bunch of we have a bunch of deal with him and his vassal. But it's trending negatively because we're fighting his alliance. So hopefully he will just declare war on us, and then we can fight some of his factions as well. If we take a look at Sima Jiong's territory, just a little piece here, but at least we can get some of these. Um. Maybe what we need is diplomacy. Oh, no, we want to kill that faction. Nope. Oh, he might want us to vassal him. Maybe. I don't mind another vassal. Xiangyang is not really needed for us. Price? A little steep. It's easier if we just wipe him out. I think that's it. Let's end turn. Let's see what happens during this end turn phase. All right, never mind. No worries. We can just fight Sima Jiong because our vassal demands it. Uh, this will boost our relationship with Sima Yue all the way to positive. I guess we'll save him for last. Sima Wei will like this. Sima Liang will like this. Even Sima Lun will like this. Interesting. Uh, Jin Empire hates it. Mm, that's fine. Oh, that that reaches the reinforcement range. I call BS on that. Well, that's sad. I guess we just have to fight it. There's no other way around it. They have Onyx Dragons too now. Interesting. This main army sieging us has Pearl Dragons. Not that scary. Xianbei Riders. Okay, we can fight this. Let's do it. All right, so this battle is going to be really an issue of space because we don't have that much space inside the camp. They spread out though. Oh wow, and our army has a um, guerrilla deployment. Interesting. So their reinforcement. So this is the main attack side. This guy is the helpless by himself side. Where is the tribuchet? Here. Okay. So we just rush this side. Suicidal cavalry charge here. Right into the tribuchet. I mean, it's not even suicidal. We'll definitely come out ahead on this. And we got to do something about this group right here. Actually, they don't have many archers here. We can just fire them. On they can't even get close to us. Alright, so... Our one tribuchet needs to be facing the main side here. That's the main enemy coming. So they'll be here. Protecting our camp. Um, we just need to organize everyone right. So the cavalry's outside. Call that one. Their job is to wipe out the tribuchet. We can vacate the area the tribuchet can hit in the beginning to minimize our losses. And we just got to figure out how to place everyone. Oh god. Let's get these guys back here. So we don't want to overcommit here because then we have to shift everyone back over here. We'll just have our turtle formation guarding the door so they can't come in. Uh, I guess we will just use regular heavy D infantry on the other two doors that's here. They should be sufficient. And then we'll get two onyx dragons, or just maybe maybe even just one onyx dragon to fire at them. And we can fire them from this side too. It's actually a bit safer from this side. And then one more here. And I feel like that should be plenty. That should be able to hold them back here. Uh, this group here is going to get wiped out by cavalry. And this group in the front 
We're gonna place our other turtle to block the door here. I feel like Azor dragons can go outside. And then we still have two more units of these guys. Where, where's this guy? Alright, this and this. They can trade fire with the enemy here. Alright, it's a little bit tight. Maybe one unit here. Uh, this is better. These guys can help from behind. Just line them up here, I guess. And let's see, who else do we have? We have spear guards from the other group. They can suicide and just block this for now. Let's see, infantry. These guys can just back up army somewhere here. I don't know what to do with them. They're not really useful here. Maybe put them on the side. General's injured. We'll rest. She can help fire and keep morale high. Alright, I think we're good to go. We're going to start by microing this group right here. Charge! Yeah, reinforcements coming. There's no general here? Seems wrong. Seems like there should be a general in every group. Ooh, they're firing at us. Oh, there's a general. Oh, they're firing into our base. Who's getting shot? Maybe they're firing at the towers, but they're not going to fire for long. Our general is here. Job is just to wipe these guys out. These guys can charge at cavalry. Alright, you guys that are weak on this side. Right. There we go. Tribuchet neutralized. Kill the general. There we go. Ooh, wiped. All right, flank charge. There we go. We'll sandwich these guys. Oh, they're wiped out. Perfect. So there goes their tribute unit. They can actually go and wipe out these. Actually, though, they should go back and rest up. Um, cavalry can break out of the charge formation for the more speed. Make sure they don't come back. They can wipe these guys out for a little bit. Alright, so now we just focus on this main army over here with another tribute. Okay, so that's another job we have. Let's sneak back in here. It's really slow, so it should be pretty easy to take care of. Alright, they have come into the door, so now we should send our two spear unit for flanking. They are firing. Alright, we should be able to hold this. Charge. Charge. Just fire from here. Pretty easy. Alright, he's killing these guys. They're sneaking for the tribuchet. They are moving their men to this gate. Uh, Immobilize, that's not good, so let's go here first. These guys can be on Archer. Alright. Oh, there's a cavalry unit sneaking around here. Alright, it's fine if it sneaks in. The general's here. Alright, they're getting wiped. 
move back out shoot these guys shoot these guys we'll fight the general hand to hand push back help the guys out I think we can take care of these cataphracts before they charge at us and yep they can kill the general let's see elsewhere oh they're really trying to sneak around now I know what to do with these guys block them off this way I guess no time for them to go this way alright they're not coming for us so we'll start shooting at them Oh, we didn't make it in time. Go kill them. Stop microing for some reason. Too many fronts. Too many fronts. Alright, we'll kill the trebuchet. And we'll go back to defend our side. They can fire at him. Alright, he's about to die. Alright, they're inside, but it's fine. Three generals, though. It's kind of tough. Archers, why are you guys not shooting? Fire. Is the fire well broken for the inside garrison troops again? Alright. Gotta go kill these guys. Hmm. They have a lot of generals. Alright, block this off. Fire this direction. Chase down these guys, it's fine. Alright, he's running away. She's a turtle here. Alright, go help kill. Actually, we don't, we don't need to worry about that. Pull off. Kill general. Just stay here. Actually, there are Zora Dragons. It's time to go melee mode. And help us kill these guys. These guys are not doing much here. We wiped out the trebuchets. We, they're coming back towards us. So we actually should hide for a little bit. Trading archer fire against their onyx dragons. It's okay. It's okay if we lose those. This is going to be a tough fight. Let's take a look here. Our onyx dragons against enemy generals should be fine. Alright, these guys go help out. He can chase. Actually, he has ability. He can go help fight. He's trying to snipe. They're, they're, they're doomed. There we go. Chase. Alright, Azor Dragons got this. Look at them. Whack at him. Ooh. Put a little fight in him. Alright, seems like we're good on this side. They can all come back inside to help fight. Alright, time to charge back. They're out of ammo. They have to charge our door. We still have ammo because we're Samai. Alright guys, get up. Kill him. Oh. He's recovered. Alright, but we got this. Huh, the trebuchet killed them with their sword. All 
Alright, let's get our archers up. Uh, decline. Get our Azor, drag Azor dragons up. These guys can come back. Alright. Your, your militia units against our cataphracts. Good luck. Ooh, they have Sienbei Riders. Alright, let's see who's stronger. Ooh. Did I say I have also have a general? Charge at their militia. Alright, their Sienbei Rider disappeared. There we go. Let's get them. He's trying to build up for another charge. It's too late, man. I'm gonna crush all your units. Ooh, their general's out. Alright, they're clogged up at the door. Door Dragon can go to bow formation. Actually, they can go to this formation. Pull everyone back out a little. They're gonna wait. Once we kill their generals and their cavalry, we'll charge right back into their rear, and they're gonna be wiped really quickly. Oh yeah? Let's see who's better at this. Your charge or our charge? Wow. Wrecked. Let's do another from the Phoenix. Come on, guys, get closer. Alright, we got them. Charge. Alright, now you're screwed. Wedge formation. Right into your rear. Ooh. Turtle formation. Smart. But what about these archers? These onyx dragons. Let's go, cavalry. You guys are really tired, I know. Really slow and tired. But we need one last charge from you guys. Just, yeah, just the fact they're flanking is scaring them. Let's do it. Alright. Uh, we're not going to give chase because our cavalry is really tired too. So let's just claim victory here. Pretty interesting fight. Heroic victory. Nice. Alrighty. They still have a bunch of men left. We didn't give chase. Um, we're gonna want them to hate us, so we're gonna start killing these generals. Execute. And execute. Replenish for sure. Alright, uh, our spy got recruited by Sima Lun. Good. Sima Jun had declared war on Ba Wang, so we retaliated. And now we're in a full blown war. We have a birth. Um, our daughter give birth. Hmm, our spy is immediately wavering in loyalty. Yeah, Sima Lun is a master of subterfuge, so it's going to be hard to spy on him. How many turns? Seven more turns? Maybe we can do something by then. Maybe not. Maybe she will just be lost. That's fine. Let's see. We gain an Iron Archer. Not bad. That battle has pushed their relationship into Oathworn. These two into friends, these two into Oathworn. Good job on these guys. Good fight. Um, so we're at war with more people now. A little bit more. At least we can take this piece. That Samai can do that. Um, actually, no. Yeah, yeah, Samai. Perfect. Actually, that's. that's ex they're fully replenished, so we can now go fast. This will be quick. Badong will be easy to reach for them. All right, one, two, three turns maybe, because I feel like we can get here, and then if we switch to normal, it'd be two more turns. So let's do that. We'll grab Badong, and that's most of the south. Tang um, was too expensive to buy, and then this piece right here is a mess. Uh, we can also grab this piece right now. Yep. 
We can just uh, delegate this because there's no enemy to fight after them. All right, 255, not a big loss. All right, let's see how they build up Kaiji. Uh, farming town, perfect. That's that's how we like it. Uh, Reformation loss is going to hurt a bit. We're still positive three. Uh, we, we'll build this up. We'll build um, private workshop. That should alleviate some of that loss. Um, let's see, Shiore Rei is our enemy now as well, so I feel like after we settle over here, we can start marching up. Um, Shiore Rei's territory as well, so they need to replenish for maybe two turns, and then we can march out. These guys can't replenish because they're not in allied territory, so we're not really worried about them. Same thing, so Sima Yong has very few armies left now. At least down here. He might have more up there. Ooh, his base of operations is all of the north. That's pretty impressive. Um, wonder if he's willing to negotiate something now. Because I feel like I've been kicking his butt. Uh, he still feels strongly about himself, so maybe not. Let's take a look at our other armies. Defensive force. Yeah, quite cute keep clicking on them so these guys can move out um, let's see where should we go hunting Jiangling maybe but this army can go to Jiangling too mm, we're fully replenished so let's just march towards Jiangling next turn we'll grab that no one's defending it um, Wondering if I should keep them around in case the Jin Empire acts up. Sima Yue is also around. Yeah, leaving one army south might be a problem. Everyone else is going north. Actually, I'm going to pick this army off. Because we can just uh, auto-resolve this. And then pick up the replenishment from that. Maybe this is easier. Yeah, maybe this is this is easier. And then we're also getting closer over here. Yeah, we're just gonna delegate this fight. Lose lose maybe sixty men, my guess. Pretty close, pretty close. Uh grab replenishment afterward. Ooh, items, nice. Items, okay. Uh two percent replenishment there. Capture the officer. Let's see who we got. So these are definitely not spies. So that's good. Hopefully young. 41. Not so young. Greedy. Bruin. Competitive. Bruin is really good. But if you look at this. All three skills have uh, increased ambition as administrator. So we can never make her administrator. And I don't think we should just keep her. I think she can just go away. Too much negative ambitious stats. Just unfortunate. Uh, also, not seeing any new characters recently. Um, let's see, any enemies around after if we attack this? Yeah, I think we just attack it and not worry about repercussions. Oh, wrong, wrong one. Want to see some colors? We can just take the small city of Wujiang. Ooh, administrator. All right, so not a free battle. Mm. They have a lot of archers. All right, we'll fight them. We can do it. Let's jump in here. All right, we're going to fight this one out on the field. They have a lot of archer units. This city is actually very squared up, so it's not really a good place to attack. It's pretty much the same everywhere else. Uh, anywhere? Actually, no, from the sides it's easier. No arrow towers this way. Arrow towers on the front. Alright, so attack from... Hmm. This side, I guess? Be take out these three structures? Uh, no flaming shot sucks. Uh, we do have a lot of Zor dragons, so that's good. Uh, really love our cal cavalry. 
We don't need any of these spear units for the assault, so we're going to spread them out like we usually do. Just so that their archers are spaced out around the compound so that we don't have to worry about them. Everyone else will stay put here and we'll just fire over here. Let's see, we can get these guys over here. Assault unit. Start. Alright, they spread their units out quite a bit. Alright, let's hurry up. We just gotta bang off these towers. We have 23 ammo on the tribuchet. That's amazing. There is a general. Does he have unbreakable? He doesn't, but he has discipline. So his unit's going to be harder to um, route morale-wise. But we might be able to just capture the city center. All right, knock that out. Let's knock that out. And then we can just punch a hole here. Um, yeah, it's working. They're shifted six units of archers on those guys. We only have to deal with one unit here, which is perfect. All right, let's punch that out. And we still will have around 10 shots left to make a hole in the wall. Just got to make it about here. One more fire, one more shot. All right, 12 shots left. Let's punch. Let's, I'm going to break this entire wall here. So uh, it would be a good place for our archers to go fire at. We're going to move up. And we're going to start sniping at the enemy archers that's here. There we go. Perfect. All right. Meanwhile, punch the hole here. All right. These low armor units, like Archer Militia, which is our main target, it's perfect for Onyx Dragons. All right. There we go. They're white. Make sure they stay wiped. Get them to wave that white flag. Come on. That's enough. No. One more volley. Don't want to waste too many volleys on them. There we go. They're shifting more units here. Um, that's fine. We'll let them come closer. How many shots do we have left? Three shots. All right. Oh, they're firing. Uh, let's, let's not fire. Let's hold that ammo. All right. Three might not be enough to break a hole here. Hopefully it is. Alright, they're done. The hole is made. That's good. So I made a hole there just so their archers can't get over here. We're not going to go through that hole. Our goal is just to have our guys line up here and just fire up all their arrows. Same with these guys. And then have them charge in right after. Should be a pretty simple fight. If we do it right, given the amount of ammo they have, like over 50, 60 ammo, we're going to be fine. Alright, fire at the cavalry. Oh, they're coming closer. They're on foot. Alright. Get stay back, stay back. I mean, honestly, Azor Dragon's uh, arrow damage is pretty high too. 40, 25. That's pretty impressive. Come on, route. Don't fire at us. Route. Routing, routing. Alright, should be fully routed. Perfect. Switch over to the cavalry. These guys have 65%, so they're tough cookies. All right, they're good. Wave white flag for us. There we go. Infantry captain, and then the other spear unit is going to come. Perfect. We have so much ammo, we might not even need to charge our cavalry inside. Ooh, ooh, look at that last shower. And they're just gone. They're just gone. 
All right, so last group coming over to us, spear guards. Move up closer. All right, here they come, here they come. I don't even do anything. They can just start shooting when they get close. Ooh, don't, don't waste arrow on these seven archers. All right, she also has arrow. She can just use it all on the general. All right, they're done. They are done, but they're gonna be used for other things. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Save that am ammo for him. Okay. Time we saw the Onyx Dragon action. Time to see the Zor Dragon action. Let's go slow down. These guys are no joke. Heavily armored. Excellent weapon against spear guards. Charge! They're braced. That's fine. We're not range units. Wow. Whoa, that, whoa, they're just getting thrown out. Oh, they're standing up. But it's not even close. We lost, what, four units? Trying to run? I'm not going to let you guys run. Wait, we're just letting them walk out? Guys. Guys. I'm not going to let them walk out. Kill them all. Okay, I guess we're just gonna let them walk out then. Alright. Uh, there's no arrow tower over here. But they blockade everything. That's interesting. Okay. Hmm. That's actually messy, the fact they blockaded everything. They have high armor. They're just gonna have to tank us some arrow t damage over here. We have to fight them from this side. Let's capture that gate. Get this group inside as well. Yeah, but that was pretty brutal. These guys just murdered that spear guard unit. Yeah, these elite units are nice. After playing with just militia for so many of the campaigns, nice to have some nice units around. Right, standard archers only has 20 armor piercing shots. Uh, they're not even uh, militia. 25 base damage is going to be absorbed by 63% armor base. That's pretty nice. Just no range block chance. It's a little hurtful, but we have these uh, infantry in for blocking arrows. Yeah, they dominate heavy Z infantry. 31% melee evasion versus 58%. And you have all that range. Alright. Let's screw this tower. We don't need to worry about it. Let's charge. This group can try to capture it. We're going to have them kill these D militia, basically. Three. Here we go. Alright, everyone has a job. Let's go do it. She even has a job. Go snipe. Alright, Cataphract, on the other hand, has a little bit of range block chance. Excellent armor. Alright, let's get our generals get there fast. So they can start disrupting the enemy archer from shooting at us. Oh no, that guy yelled out as he got shot. Oh, 
You guys capture this point. They're good enough to take care of that. Alright. They're not going anywhere. Charge. Alright, we're sniping at the enemy general. Should we get a duel? Level 4. Nothing special. Maybe after she runs out of her ammo. Why are they stuck? This group just keep getting stuck. There we go. Not even in formation. I don't know why they're stuck. Alright, they're done their job. One can line up here. She can snipe at him. I still want to see a Zor Dragon in action. Actually, just one on one. Let's go. You guys can sit here. Our enemy general. Oh. Most guys gonna get up. That charge hurt. All right, go help. All right, you're not playing fair. So we're not gonna play fair. Let's kill off these guys first. And then we'll just focus in on the generals. Alright. Where are you gonna run? I mean, when we're not braced, it still hurt. Let's kill him. Alright, he's routing. Alright, everyone's routing. Archer's shooting at us. Just pull back a little bit, it's fine. They'll route. Yep. And it's over. That's it. Took some damage, but it was fun. Alrighty. That was not bad. Got to play around with some of these new units. Um, we captured him. He killed 18 of our Azor Dragons. Uh, we are just gonna... Well, we can recruit him. He's loyal. Yeah, not bad. We'll recruit him. He does he have any items? Not really. You know. Ah, uh, we'll take him. Alrighty. We grab Lu Jiang. We need to replenish now. Alright, I think this is a good end point for this episode. Uh we're at war with more people now. Uh, and we're finally making inroads towards the north. Um, which is great. So we're going to try to grab all these little territories that's still on the map that's red. We'll grab that one with Sima Ai. We'll grab this one with the uh, army right here led by Jia Yi. And then we're going to probably sail Sima Jian up to wipe out uh, this group right here. And we might think about pushing farther north depending on how we deal with Sima Liang and Sima Yue over here. So see y'all then next time. Bye!